Here is a quick video on how to clean the gunk out of your cylinders. If you see that, there is gunk piled up on the uh, valves and uh, that carbon over time will cause some valve problems or compression problems. This here is the best. I've been trying to do this for months now and this is what I came down with B12. This stuff is a killer by Berryman. It dissolves carbon um, on contact. Now if you can see that in there, I have just poured that in there and it is flooded but it is dissolving every single bit of that gunk off the valves. Now given that I'm using a flat bladed screwdriver that I've sanded down, I've sanded the tip down so that it has a cutting edge, um, that's my workhorse there. Um, on this one over here it's not as bad. It has half the mileage, but there's the, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the gunk on the uh, unclean one. And on the clean one, it has turned the, the uh, Berryman B12 literally black. So this thing is dissolving it without me scraping it. I tried to scrape it already and it didn't come off. And what did come off went into the combustion chamber. But I've been trying to do this. I've been running it through my gas tank and everything, and I still can't seem to get it off and um, I'm going through and I'm trying to trying to fix a little couple things that annoy me such as these coil packs um, I wasn't sure if it was my spark or my coil packs but what it is are these connectors these connectors are all rusted up so I took a uh, Dremel with a uh, sandpaper wheel and I've Dremeled all the coil packs and if you can see that, the connector is bare clean there, no rust on it, bare skin, bare metal on it, excellent contact. I've already tested the wires and the coils. They, uh, they're testing good. And, um, you know, when you do your carbs, I'm doing two carbs right now with the coil packs, and I'm trying to, you know, trying to do these if you have a fuel injected um, if you have a fuel injected engine then you're gonna have to do a throttle body and a throttle body is gonna be where the uh, the uh, the butterfly valve for the intake and the air where the air is distributed to the uh, injectors but in there that's called the throttle body now on a carbureted engine you don't have a throttle body you only have those those valves and in this case you would have to lap these valves to get it to seat properly because of the carbon but this Berryman I'm telling you is working it's been 15 minutes and the water the Berryman liquid has turned black and I swear to God that thing's freaking stripping that stuff off I bet you in 24 hours it should be gone but uh, I had no idea that Berryman was this strong because I ran it through my gas tank. I ran a full can through the gas tank over a month and it didn't, I thought it did something, but apparently it didn't do nothing. Pouring it in there, now to get it started, I'm gonna prime the fuel pump, put fuel into the carburetor. I'm gonna crank the engine with the ignition off to kick all the Berryman out or any impurities. I'm gonna kick it out into the collector when it's in the pipe and in the collector, it's going to get spit out or it's going to get caught, but it's going to heat up and it's going to burn. So inside the collector, it's going to sit until it burns. And this carbon deposit will sit there. It'll smoke a little, but that's cool. It can sit there and it'll clean out all the rest of the junk until then. So you got to kick this stuff out and you got to prime the carburetor before it'll start. And um, another problem is these uh, coil packs there's rust on them and there is serious rust on them but I've already addressed those things so uh, if you want a quick tip on how to get the uh, valves the carbon off those valves just pour the berry in you can only do three at a time because you have top dead center this one is at top dead center which means that I've got three that are uh, sealing and it is sealing properly the liquid is there so we know it's sealing all the way. Three, three cylinders are filled with liquid. It is sealing all the way. Number two cylinder, which is the front left, uh, is top dead center. Uh, it just was well, luck. 
but uh, this top dead center, the valves are open and it's gunked up so badly. I expect these three and then I'll nail this one another time. But I may have problems with number two cylinder. Um, so you can only do three and because it's holding the liquid, you know that there's no compression problems. You know that it's good. It, it has no valve compression problem. At most, the carbon's too gunked up, but it should be... This is going to be the second time I scraped it with that screwdriver, and it's still there. So, uh, that is the way to do it. The Berryman. Pour the Berryman in there, take that little screwdriver, mix it up, scrape it a little with the cutting edge, and that thing will come right off, man. It, it just dissolves it uh, after about 10 minutes. So, uh... The liquid is black right now on both bikes, so that stuff is working good. All right.